Hey guys, welcome back to another Tucked Up Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on a 16 inch ROG Asus Zephyrus M16. This unit was mailed to us for repair, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with the bottom, start out, we'll uh, pop off these caps. You can just use a flathead screwdriver, just uh, get in there between the rubber and the right there like so. Okay, so we got those covers off. Now we can just start unscrewing it. They're just gonna be uh, 13 screws here on the frame and we can just start unscrewing them. So these ones on the edge are gonna usually be a bit longer. Um, they do just have a bit of a neck there. A uh, bit of a gaming laptop. It's gonna have a 11th generation i7 uh, processor in there. 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte uh, SSD in there, as well as a RTX uh, 3050 Ti graphics card, 16 inch display. And this one is running uh, Windows 11. So there we are, just these middle three to go, ones that were covered. So there we are, the last of these frame screws. Okay, so now we're just gonna start by taking the uh, this uh, backlight off here. We're gonna run the edges here. There are just some pins that, uh, that need to be popped out. Start in one of the corners. Um, all right. And there it is, the back plate's off, it's out of the back plate. All right, so as always, first things first, you're gonna wanna disconnect the battery. It's just got this little metal uh, slide right here. You can just slide it off real easy, just push it off, and bam, the connector is uncovered, just like that, and I'm all disconnected. And, uh, and we can start unscrewing the battery here. Four screws in it. And the last one's gonna be right here. And on these models, there's not gonna be any adhesive under the battery, so it just pops right out right there. So right now, a lot of it's gonna be accessible. Like here's your uh, SSD right here. Pop out, there should be just three per side of these hinge screws. All right, so with this side, I'm just gonna start by getting rid of this tape here. They can be on there pretty tight, but peel right off. And you got another one over cable down. Sometimes these ones can be a bit of trouble. Here we go. So now we'll just start by lifting up this plastic lap here so you can access the actual connector. So now with these connectors, these are pretty easy. You can just lift back the plastic there and just slide them straight backward and they come right out. And, uh, and now for the other side, we're just gonna do the same thing. Which we will need to lift this up to access. There's just gonna be a screw right here that you can just unscrew and it's pretty easy, it just slides right out. Be careful of this hook, don't make it too hard. You can just go around it, just making it easier for you. You can just raise them a bit more, a bit more. And they're disconnected. So that's the screen right there, just with these cables coming out, and I can put this off to the side. So at this point, without the battery and the screen, you'll notice it's very light at the bottom here by the keyboard, mouse pad. I'm just gonna start with this right here, pry up, and it just slides right out. And this side is gonna be held in with some adhesive, and just, and we'll come back to that after we get these uh, speakers out. So the speakers come out easy, there's no screws. There will be these little hooks, pull it up. Now we're at the other speaker where they're connected. You can just pull it up. And here's the very end where they're both connected right here. You'll see this little brown bit. The white is plugged in, pull it out. Don't be too hard and it might take a little bit of wiggling. Right there, it just needs a bit of back and forth. There we go. So this is the whole speaker assembly. So now we can take out the SSD. You'll see it's labeled right here. And you'll also notice there's another PCIe slot right here. So you can have two uh, SSDs in here. So there's just a screw in this end. It's, it's gonna be a pretty standard uh, M2. It will just come right out. There we go. So it is labeled one, just this is gonna be PCIe one. PCIe 2. It's got a number of screws on there over the CPU and uh, the GPU, uh, but we'll just start uh, unscrewing it. And you'll notice some empty screw holes right here, here, and here. That's actually just where the frame screws go. And let's just continue on this. On a lot of these uh, gaming laptops, uh, especially these ROG ones, you'll notice the uh, fan assembly is quite large just for all that cooling. Flip it around here and here we go. 
There are gonna be quite a lot of screws in here when you're doing this set down, especially over the uh, processors where where they need that cooling. They need that uh, that connection to these uh, these heat sinks. And you may notice that these are already pretty dusty. It's very common for uh, for these uh, these fan units to get uh, to get some dust in them, pulling in so much air to get those cleaned and much quieter. Open up the uh, back and blow them out. Some uh, compressed air or um, cleaner, an air cleaner. You'll notice a big noise reduction, making heavy use of your laptop. And you'll notice this has, this one has a sticker over this final screw right here, which you can just peel off or just go right through. And here is this whole heat sink assembly taken out. And you may be wondering, you know, where is that big uh, 3050 Ti graphics card? Right here. It's uh, it's just uh, on the motherboard and uh, and connects right to that uh, to that big heat sink. And then we've just got these two fans right here, already unscrewed just from when we unscrewed that. And they're just going to be connected right here, still to the motherboard and you can just pull them straight out. They may require a little bit of force, but these connectors are fairly strong. Pop out of those connectors there. So this is one out and right here, the other just slides right out. So like I said in the beginning, this laptop does have 16 gigabytes of RAM, but eight of that is gonna be on the motherboard. Uh, so there's only one stick of RAM and it's gonna be eight gigabytes and that's right here. We can just pull this cover off or up right there and you'll notice it's gonna be pretty different from the laptop RAM. it is smaller and it is laying flat to the motherboard instead of sticking up because it's got to be thin and to take it out these two metal bits on the side you just pull out you just pull apart there's one there's the other and it just pops up and slides right out and to get it in if you're uh, if you're ever replacing your uh, your RAM in this model it just slides right in there and it's gonna be sitting up a bit and you just push it down and it'll snap in these two metal bits will snap right in but for now we're just going to take it out there we are and you'll start to see we only have a few more things connecting the motherboard to the frame there's the screws and then some of these connectors that are just going to be for the mouse pad and the keyboard which is just right under here so we'll just start disconnecting all of this there's one up here which is another one of these little ribbon cables that you just tight squeeze this close to the frame but they slide out really easy and then you've got over here for the mouse pad there you just grab this uh little bit and pull it right pull it right back up and out there's another one you can just lift up straight out like there so there are just a few left there's gonna be one over here this screw right here by this uh, pci2 is actually going to be a second ssd putting a new ssd in here you would just unscrew it got one over here so now that everything's unscrewed we can just motherboard right out there we are this is the motherboard and you'll see there's some more uh there's some more um ribbon cables across the frame as well as some more screws holding in the keyboard the mouse pad a few other things Pull it out. Then we can start pulling out the ribbon cables that are left here. So you'll see one over here. You can just pop it up, up and right out over here, right up. And there's a few more things just stuck onto the frame like this, which you'll remember. Pop it up and it comes right off. As well as these here. And there's a little uh, nub in the side of it where you can just squeeze under, pull them right up. And that's it. Again, there's just a little nub, pop it right up. Secondary speakers, not as strong as the main ones, but they're there. Flip this around, because there are a few more screws in that mouse pad there. You'll see these two exposed, but there is one more. Here's, and that third one is just gonna be right under there. If you pull up that connector, and to get the mouse pad out, you're just gonna lift it up, slides, that's your mouse pad. And then what's left right here, we've got the power button. Uh, it's already all unscrewed, pushing it from the other side. Comes right up. You can help by just, it'll raise it, pull it out. It's just adhered on very lightly. But that's your power button. And now it's just gonna be the keyboard left. You'll see this big black uh, plastic bit. It's actually just a cover. It's just, it's just held on by these uh, bits of tape, which we will take off. Uh, and if you are looking for any parts or tools, uh, check out the link below. If you're interested in uh, mail-in repair or any data recovery services, check us out at techdep.com. We do it all every day. There we go. Start peel it up a bit. There will be some more minor adhesive just holding the uh, cover down. Come up. 
In this, this adhesive here, you can kind of see it, it's just on in strips. So it's just easier, easy to start from one end, get under it with a spudger. So you'll notice these screws are pretty small. I'm just gonna get out of them with a uh, Phillips head double zero, uh, which is one of the smaller sizes, unscrewing them. Uh, if you're gaming, it is a gaming laptop. You're gonna be getting at that uh, keyboard pretty hard and these will all help keep it in place. And they are all identical. Um, so if you're just disassembling it to, uh, to put back together, and you might notice they're kind of in these uh, diagonal patterns, just down the length. Uh, that, that does really help with just stability for the keyboard. It kind of forms these X cross shape that just help a lot with, with stability. Uh, need a little less screws. Here we are starting to wrap up just a few more remaining. There we are. Now we can just flip it over and it does come right out. Um, and it is pretty light right there. Already all disconnected. Bottom case. There you are. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we will make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, uh, check us out at techdep.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs.